Good morning. All right, so this is the day one of whatever I'm calling this thing is to be unbroken, right? So after the impossible route, I did a cool power skid that lives in infamy. And uh, after that power skid, I actually tried to jump a Harley through a bunch of buses that were on fire while skydiving blindfolded. And that's how I broke my leg. And so then that took four weeks of doing nothing. Then from week four to five, I started walking. And then towards like the very end of that week, I was spinning really light. Then from week five to six, I kind of started to ride hard again. Um, did a little bit of Zwift stuff. From week six to seven, I started training. I actually just did a crit race. I did two crit races. So as of today, we are just in from week seven to eight, which is actually a really quick turnaround time. But my whole body's biomechanics, the trash. My glute is dead, my hip flexor's overworked, my back is twisted. We are actually riding yesterday and, and everyone noticed that I'm leaning to the left. It's really strange. And so last night, uh, we're here at Tim's house, Dr. Tim Wu, and he worked on me a little bit, right? To kind of just assess. Oh okay, so push my down God. slowly and relax. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> So Tim worked on me uh, quite a bit yesterday and he taped me up, but did a lot of things of finding where's our baseline here, right? How, how not flexible am I? How broken am I? And the answer to that is quite broken. Day one of five or so days, where well, we're gonna be doing PT here at Tim's place, Dr. Tim Wu, he's a magician. We're gonna be doing a lot of that. We're gonna be riding a lot. We'll take you along through the whole thing. Let's get unbroken. Uh, anytime we're looking at someone's like body after some kind of trauma, right? So that was like seven weeks ago. So there's the initial trauma itself, like what happens at your femur is like, ah, oh, ouchie. Then everything around that is gonna get real pissed off and insecure. And so you're gonna develop like other problems. So our initial assessment was finding how sensitive your initial injury area is and then everything around it, how pissed off and compensatory is it and like how not doing its job is it like right now. And then start walking you through like phase one of bike body strength program. Just from the ground up, core, glutes, breathing, bring it all together and see if we can kind of get your whole system kickstarted after riding the couch for seven weeks. Yeah. <laughs> So your thoracic spine, its main job is to rotate. So if you want your low back to get less pissed off right now, you gotta make this return to its main function, which is rotating. Get you whatever you want, I'll settle for nothing. As long as we can keep the fire. Uh, you feel the difference now? Yeah, yeah. That's what I want your reference point to get to on each one. That's your reference point, okay? One more minute, keep going, buddy. This is cycling, this is pedaling. So you get this nice smooth pedal stroke. This is locked in the whole time and you can still breathe. So I can talk to you and explain this without getting out of breath while still pedaling in space nice and smooth. So we're training that system without the exoskeleton of the bicycle. So when you get on the bicycle, your body isn't relying on the rigidity of the frame and the cranks to guide your motion. You're doing that and all the energy goes to forward movement versus like, fighting the actual bikes. So Are you gonna be able to work with me at all on the form of actually riding? That's why we're going out. So the whole idea is this, like the real world where you go and ride on your bike, that's the stage, okay? We gotta go back in private practice, right? Like I was a musician. You don't just go on stage and be like, what song are we playing today? We practice it. So we practice in the lab, we rehearse it when we ride kind of together and we test it in the real world to see how do you tolerate different uh, 
grades, crosswinds, speeds, and we're gonna look at your form and bring my GoPro. We're gonna come back, we're gonna analyze it. Be like, hey, you see how junky that looks? Here's why, let's work on something here, and then we go out and retest. We're gonna iterate that as many times as possible this week so we can condense that process with you. Today is just sort of starting at ground zero, right? Base zero, and we're working our way up from there. Isolating some issues, finding what we need to work on. But I'll tell you that I am euphoric. I'm so happy. And it wasn't like that for a little while. I really thought once I got back on the bike, I'd be super happy. I've been riding for almost three weeks. I haven't been super happy on the bike. Today, right now, woo! So part of your climbing technique is how you're standing, is how you generate power, is you find it from your body weight and you lose it through the hips. So you get this very noodly kind of standing thing. Okay, so uh, last week at the race, the crit race, uh, we were hanging out and these two kids, Jack and Eli, invited my son to go ride, like do a warm up with them. So now we're down here in their town riding with bros rides bikes these uh just killer kids let me introduce you to one eli where are you at and how old are you uh i'm 11. how long you been riding uh, somewhere around there that's crazy man so jack how old are you i'm 13. and when did you start riding like two years ago what made you want to start riding my dad would go with like his friends every single week and I thought it would be fun and so he took me on a ride and we did like some climbing and it absolutely sucked but I kept doing it and I got better and it became more fun. How was the ride? It was good. It was hard and long, but it was good. Fun getting to ride with y'all. Jack and Eli, Young Bucks, is so, I mean, we were not riding easy. Uh, and they were crushing. They were doing like 200 beats per. Encourage your kids to get into whatever they want. I mean, it doesn't have to be cycling, but like the joy and the happiness this whole group had today crazy right heart rate average 187 <laughs> max wow. 210 jeez dude all right dude wow that's crazy tyler thank you so much yeah, you guys have yeah, uh, a wonderful rest of your day you, you too safe. keep it safe yeah. So just to recap, yesterday we did a general assessment. Find out where I messed up. Everywhere is where I messed up. So then today, uh, he worked on a few things of range and mobility and that sort of stuff. Then we went out for a ride and I wanted to smash. I wanted to go hard, I was feeling good, I wanted to do a workout, but he kept it really chill. And then we actually ended up riding with those kids from Bros Ride Bikes, Jack and Eli, who are insanely strong for an 11 and 13 year old kid. Like unbelievable. Uh, but our pace was 
really chill. I got back here and I wanted to go do a workout. I, I wanted to be here and ride six, seven hours a day, every day. So I was actually planning on going out and doing a workout from my coach at ATP Coaching, but Tim said it would be way more beneficial to spend the hour or two hours that I would on the road here in the gym doing some more PT. Because the way he put it is that basically right now my biomechanics are so messed up and I don't have the body to really produce a quality ride. And so this trip is not necessarily about just putting in huge volume and banging out big watts. It's about getting everything aligned and straight and working on technique of riding. I mean, if you really think about it, when's the last time you worked on technique? When's the last time you went out and rode and focused on your position and your upper body and how you deliver the power, how you pedal? Are you engaging your glutes? Are you using your calves? How are your toes pointed? I mean, where, how are you, what's your upper body like? I, I never think about this ever. I never think about how my upper body would affect how I'm producing power. It's just push hard on the pedals, go forward. So right now I'm gonna spend the next hour to hour and a half working on my mobility and overall strength. And then we're gonna eat some Chipotle and get ready for some big days ahead. All I want you to do is hold right here. Okay. Don't drop that. Don't drop that. Tuck, 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 tuck. Drive that. Drive it up. Is this starting to burn more? Yeah. Yeah, hang there. Keep going. So. If you have a cool body like Travis and you want to show it off on the ride, these are the consequences. Don't do it. These are the consequences. Consequences. Here's the thing about Chipotle. No matter where you go, you know it's going to be good. You know it's going to be pretty healthy. The amount of protein and carbs. And then for the, for the dollar, it's just unbeatable. I really want to get sponsored by Chipotle. And I was told one time that I was put on the watch list to get the Chipotle black card that's like free Chipotle for influencers. And then I was posting all about the bull hack and then I was told I was removed off that list. <laughs> Worth it, no regrets. Anyways, we're, we're crushing our breezes at the end of the day. Day one, super good. Tim is just doing some magic on me. It's really amazing to just instantly already feel so much more like a human. How much have you done work with uh, Tim? Uh, I think it's the last five months I've worked with him. It's helped a lot. And I mean, you get so arrow. Like your normal <laughs> position is just, like you could hold a bottle on your back. Like I was explaining to you on the ride today is like, when I get that low, I can use my glutes so much more and save everything else. Tim has a lot of free resources, so I'm not trying to make this like a big old ad for SoCal Bike PT. Uh, he has a ton of free resources, but he also has pretty inexpensive programs. So if you want to dial him in for your own program, I couldn't recommend it more or just steal all the free stuff he has on Instagram. Yeah. SoCal Bike PT. He's, Any, got discount code going this week too. he's got a discount code going, he says. With yeah, it's it's a big dong 30. VC GD 21. 21. Yeah. For 21% off. 21%. Like, like $45, nice. Pretty VC off. GD 21. Anyway, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, we're going to crush this for a few days and and just get right now. I'm real excited. I'm very, very happy that we're doing this. So, anyways, as always, vegan cycles. Yeah. I went like this. Rock on, bro. I went like this. Rock on, bro. Rock on, bro.